fantasy is that this sentence is anything more than just purely punitive and completely beyond the range of what drug offenders get in this district, in this circuit, in this country. I know if Ross walked out of that prison tomorrow, they would never, law enforcement would never hear from him again. In fact, he would probably go on to make some contributions to society, to the community. I know, I, that part is done. Rehabilitation is done. But this is about punishment and making him an example. Hi, I'm Kurt Loder with Reason TV. That was Lynn Ulbrich, the mother of Ross Ulbrich, the convicted operator of the Silk Road Drug Marketplace. Ross Ulbrich was just sentenced to life in prison without parole and fined more than $183 million. Ross's story and the story of Silk Road are the focus of a new documentary called Deep Web, which was written and directed by Alex Winter. We talked to him a little earlier today. So I think there are a lot of people that probably would like to see Ross uh, Ulbrich roasted in hell for being a drug dealer, but I think his what he was doing was like a radical free market experiment to take danger out of drug transactions. How do you see him? It's like five or six completely opposing ideas of who this guy actually is, and that's sort of what the movie's about. Um, there are absolute ideals behind the Silk Road that are just woven into it, not only from the Judd Pirate Roberts who ran the Silk Road, but from the other primary vendors and architects and moderators of the Silk Road who were very anti-drug war, very technologically agile, and really believed that technology could change policy, kind of the law be damned. Like we're, it was similar to the sort of Napster mentality, which was, sure, this is beyond the scope of current law, uh, but current law needs to catch up with us, not the other way around, because things need to change. And once you get into drug policy, obviously the implications are much more grave, but also I would say that you know the stakes are higher on the other side. There may be a greater need to change that. One of the most disturbing aspects of the case, I think, is the how did the FBI get access to the Silk Road servers in Iceland? Mm -hmm. It looks like they just hacked their way in. I mean, what, yeah. do you, what do you think? I think that, that no matter what the truth turns out to be, maybe it's 100% um, uh, above board. But the fact remains that we don't have an answer that's satisfactory. And the reason that that's a problem is that obviously laws need to be reformed to handle the digital age. Obviously, search and seizure laws, we saw that with Riley versus California with the Supreme Court and search and seizure on a cell phone. The digital, your digital life, your privacy online matters a great deal. The, this idea that if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear is just, it's absurd, frankly. Of course you have something to hide. You, you don't want people you know, spreading your medical records around, your children's photographs. I mean, privacy is, a, is a, an inherent part of being a human being. So how law enforcement is allowed to surveil, how the government's allowed to surveil, how law enforcement is allowed to search and seize American property, these are issues that are very important and, and reform needs to happen. What has this done to Ross's parents, Lynn and, and Kirk? Well, it's cost them a fortune that they don't have. There's a way to look at this entire story with compassion, no matter what you think happened, right? And that's kind of the way I've come at it with the film. Um, with Ross, I don't know Ross, so I have to look at him more with compassion than, say, sympathy, because I don't have enough information. But you can look at it with compassion. It is, no matter how you fall um, on the story, a, an immense tragedy. I mean, it is, it is, I think, one of the great tragedies of the digital age. And, you know, what it's doing to this family, I mean, it's destroying, you know, I would argue that they are very strong, thankfully, and they would argue they are not being destroyed, but it is certainly an enormously traumatic uh, continuing experience for that family on a financial and an emotional level. Um, so, you know, it's an immense tragedy. There's no way to look at it in any other way. We caught up with Alex again after the verdict came down. It was really uh, uh, an extraordinary experience, and to watch you know uh, watch him get life. You know, again, I don't know Ross at all, but it was really an emotional thing to witness. What did he What did he say in the court? He apologized for his actions, and um, you know, uh, it was extremely emotional to watch. It was the first time we'd heard him talk. I mean, he said the essence of his letter it wasn't. There was no new information that came out today, but to watch human beings in the grip of this was pretty uh, overwhelming emotionally. Okay, well, thank you very much. Alex's uh, documentary, Deep Web, will be airing on uh, the Epics Channel at 8 p.m. this Sunday. And for more on this story, log on to Reason.com.